Hi there guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and I run Rustic Barn Candles. I'm a candle maker and wax melt maker for over nine years now. And I also have this supplier business under Rustic Barn Candles where I supply my fragrance oils and a variety of other products. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the fragrance oils from Rustic Barn Candles and how they've become to be known as the strongest fragrance oils on the market in the UK. Now I only cater to the UK market, I don't ship abroad at the moment, at the time of making this video, um, but it might all change in the future. I do get a lot of messages from you guys abroad, um, currently I'm sorry I don't ship abroad, but uh, watch this space, hopefully in the future, as things um, get a bit easier, let's put it that way. So straight to the point, why are the fragrance oils from Russet Barn Candles become to be known as the, the best. Now I put the best in hyphens because I'm talking about my own oil. So, and I wasn't gonna do this video because it can come across a little bit arrogant to say your own products are the best. Um, I don't, I, I, I always feel a little bit funny talking about my own products, but we now cater to thousands of you know, manufacturers in the UK um, using my products. So that's candle makers, wax melt makers, and other products as well, other scented products. But where we differ from the other suppliers, I'm not gonna name any other suppliers, but the other suppliers, it's because our fragrance oils work really well under temperature. Now that's the main point. It's under temperature where, where your fragrance oil comes under test. How well your fragrance oil works depends how well it can, or oh, how well it copes with temperature. So in a candle, temperature is from the flame. And when, so this is, this, if you were to smell a candle now, you'll be smelling the cold throw. Um, it's just the scent when the candle's not lit. It smells strong. Now, all candles are gonna smell fairly strong under a cold throw. It's the point at which you light that flame, sorry, light that flame, you light that wick, and then the flame gets up the temperature and is burning at a high temperature. Now, that flame is directly touching your oil in the wax. Most fragrance oils are not designed for candles, even though they say they are in the marketing. Um, but do they work? That's, that's the thing. This is the point where you test your fragrance oils. Wherever you get your fragrance oils from, if you're not using rustic barn candles, wherever you get it from, this is the point where you're testing it. Not you've made it and you're smelling it now and it smells strong, because that's not a true test. It's when you light the wick you might struggle to get a strong scent throw. It's because the fragrance oil can't cope with the heat from the flame. The aroma is getting burnt off, so it's evaporating at that point right there. Um, a, a little example of you guys who might be a bit more familiar with this. You light a candle, whatever sort of container it might be in. Um, are you only really smelling your scent from that candle when you're very close to the candle? If so, you're not getting a strong scent throw across the room. It's, it's a very high probability because the oil is getting burnt off at that point. Now, I know a lot of people would comment and say, you need to change the wick, you need to change the wax. Now, a good fragrance oil will work with any wick, any wax. It will still get a, a strong scent throw. Rustic Barn can Candles fragrance oils will still give a strong scent throw with a poor quality wax and the wrong choice of wick. The, the candle won't function that well if you're if you're using the wrong wick with the wrong wax. You know, the flame will be flickering and so, but you'll still get a strong scent throw. That's because the wax is melting and you're getting a melt pool. And that's where the scent throw comes from. It comes from your melt pool. But where, where my oils differ from other suppliers is that the oil itself, the oil can cope with the temperature of the flame. Now that's the difference. So when you think about the scented product market, it is swamped with, with makers and suppliers as well. Um, but where the better quality candle makers, wax melt makers, or whatever scented product you make stand out from the crowds, it's dependent on the number one product that goes into your, into your the number one ingredient that goes into your products, which is the fragrance oil. The fragrance oil is by far the number one ingredient to, to consider in your candle wax melt. That's because that's the product, or the ingredient rather, that your customers smell, that you smell. It's the product that either makes your, your candle work or it doesn't. 
obviously, you know, like I said earlier on, the wax and the wick will have an effect, but whether you can smell that candle working well or the wax melt, it's down to the fragrance oil as the number one ingredient. So a couple examples of how, how the Rustic Barn Candles fragrance oils have helped customers is that I've got lots of customers into stores already. They've switched from their supplier that they were using for their fragrance oils, changed to my ones, and the stores have taken them on. They've approached many stores in the past, but the problem is because can the candle industry is swamped, stores see a lot of candles and a lot of candles smell the same. If your candle doesn't smell better than the many competitors out there, then you're really gonna to struggle to get into stores. So that's one point. Strong, strong, strong fragrance oils in your candles and wax melts will help you stand out when approaching stores. So again, uh, you need the product to work for you, not against you. So it's so import important to do your own testing when making any product with any ingredients, wherever you're getting them from, you must test. Um, now testing is not smelling it out the bottle, you know, opening the fragrance or opening the lid, oh that smells nice. That's not testing, that's just smelling the oil. All oils are gonna smell fairly okay in the bottle. There are suppliers out there where you take the lid off and you can't smell hardly anything. A lot of you might be familiar with that. As soon as you take the lid off and you're smelling it at this point, if you can't smell it, that fragrance oil is not gonna get any better under heat. In a candle, in a wax melt, it's not gonna get better, it's only gonna get worse because the fragrance oil always diminishes with heat. So it needs to be smelling good in the bottle and then it would work better for you in your product. So for you to know that, it comes down to obviously smelling it in the bottle, but testing. You've gotta test, guys, you've gotta test. So what does testing mean? It means making candles, it means making wax melts and using them yourself, testing them. Test is the candle jar safe? Is it a, a jar that um, can withstand the heat? So the smaller the jar, the closer the, the wick is to the jar, which then heats up the, the size of the jar even more so. So you really wanna be testing the jar is safe. But when it comes to the fragrance oil, the jar choice is also very important. So I've got a small jar here. Uh, yeah. When I say small, I mean the, the width of the jar. Okay, so this is a small jar, this is a larger jar, or this is a, a, a medium jar, and this is the largest one in terms of width across. Now, why is that important in terms of um, scent throw? It's important because of the melt pool. The larger the diameter of jar you can use, or you want to use, Normally, all things being equal, um, in terms of using good quality ingredients, you'll get an sh even stronger scent throw. Um, it depends on the size of room you want to cater for, guys, remember. So if you want to cater for a big, big room, you're going to need a very wide um, jar because this, the melt pool will only be as wide as the jar is. So the wider the melt pool, the more uh, liquid wax you're going to have and oil flowing around that wax and up the wick the stronger the scent throw will be so that's to take into account if you want an even stronger scent throw maybe increase the size of your your jars the width not the height the width okay going across the, the height will just prolong the life of your candle the width will increase the scent throw it will give it a better chance of having a stronger scent throw as long as you're using good quality ingredients, number one being the fragrance oil. A further point of testing, this one comes down to more experience. So this is to do with temperature control. As I was saying earlier on, all fragrance oils are affected by temperature. So each fragrance oil has a temperature that works best for it. There is no one temperature that works best for all fragrance oils. It's a temperature that works best for the fragrance oil and you have to work that out. That is done through testing. Through years of experience, um, you generally get a better range of temperature where you know it's probably gonna fall into that range. Um, and then you work, you make your testers at different temperatures within those ranges and then test those candles or wax melts and then you'll see which one works better for you. But that comes down with temperature control. And what temperature control, and what I mean by temperature control is 
the point at which you heat your wax up to, that is one part of temperature control. And the main part is the temperature at which you pour your fragrance oil into the liquid wax, so the hot wax, okay, at the point of making. Now those two temperatures there, that comes under temperature control. Working out how hot should I, I melt my wax to, and at what point should I pour my oil into the wax. Scent throw is affected by temperature control. The, the better understanding, the more experience you have with controlling your temperatures, again, that will result in a better scent throw from your products. So I'm just gonna finish off by talking about some of the oils at Rustic Barn Candles directly themselves. So I've got a small variety here, um, and by far our number one seller is fresh coffee. Um, for many reasons, it's a very uh, common scent, but it's very hard to find one that works really well. Uh, the fresh coffee from Rustic Barn Candles is amazing. It is by far my number one seller. It, it's actually by far my number one seller in candles as well. So the candles I make is the, the one that sells the most is, is my fresh coffee. Um, again, that comes down to quality. Um, now I get a lot of repeat orders from customers. So to get repeat orders, it means that they're enjoying the scent the candle was given, given off. So if you're struggling to get a lot of repeat orders from customers who are buying from you, one sign is that they're not quite happy with the scent of your products. So another reason to try the fragrance source from Russet Barn Candles is give yourself a better chance of growing your business from repeat orders. And in this industry, you can only grow this, you can only grow your business in the scented product industry from repeat orders. I've said this in a few videos before. You need to gain customers, so you need to gain sales. But then you don't wanna lose those customers. You want them to be ordering more in the future. And they will only do that themselves if they're happy with the initial products they bought. So it's use good products to grow your um, your your business. You know, If you buy the cheapest products out there, you're really gonna to struggle to grow your business because you're not giving your customers the best finished products, you know? They might enjoy it, but think, well, I, I want better than that, and then they go somewhere else. So use quality ingredients, especially fragrance oils, rustic barn candles, um, give them a try. Honestly, you won't be disappointed. My, my second best seller is lemon lavender. Now, the reason I wanted to talk about lemon, lemon lavender, I think I've got it here, uh, must be this one then, lemon lavender. So this is my second best selling candle and fragrance oil. Um, the reason for that, well, let me first explain. Now you can get lemon lavender from pretty much any supplier, but as what I'm alluding to, the whole point of finding better quality products, ingredients, is that not all ingredients work the same, you know? Some are better than others. And again, shout out to Russet Barn Candles, fragrance oils. They do work better than pretty much anyone's out there. Now it's a strong statement to say I know, um, I do find it a bit embarrassing to say, but it's true. So the reason why I'm talking about lemon lavender is because it's so common as a scent name, all right? Now a lot of people buy off the scent name, they heavily buy off the scent name, but you should be testing off the scent name, lemon lavender in this case, but lemon lavender from different companies. So just because you've got lemon lavender from one company, um, doesn't mean that there's not a better lemon lavender from another company. I'm struggling to get to that point, but what I'm trying to say is, just because you're buying off the name, doesn't mean all fragrance oils are the same. You know, fragrance oils work differently. There's different qualities out there. Again, Rustic Barn Candles, we are very well up there. Let's put it that way. Lemon lavender, very common. Then you've got your, um, your fresh linen, your baby powder, um, very popular. Dream, Dream Unstoppables, what, just the washing powder. A lovely um, English pear and Frasier, does really well. Strawberries and cream. Now, one of the things I was talking about earlier on is that some fragrances, some natural fragrances, like strawberries and cream, uh, and watermelon, like I alluded to earlier on, don't actually smell that strong. Um, so, not sure if I did mention it earlier on actually, sorry, it might be on a point I missed over. So, 
when you're searching for a fragrance oil, for example, a lot of companies sell watermelon. Um, in real life, when you cut a watermelon open, how strong does it smell? You know, it's a watery scent. It doesn't actually smell that strong in real life. So when you go and buy a, a watermelon fragrance oil, it's not actually gonna smell that strong. Compared to something like a lemon lavender, watermelon is not gonna smell anywhere near a lemon lavender or a fresh coffee because it's just a different aroma. So you've got to think about how strong does that scent smell in real life, in the real product, to um, a fragrance oil, to, to resemble it, you know? A fragrance oil can only resemble what it smells like in real life. And normally it's not gonna be that good from um, as good as the real thing because it's difficult to resemble it. But the reason I point out strawberries and cream is this is uh, a very good fragrance oil. It's, it sells really well and the reason because strawberries and cream doesn't smell that, that strong in, in real life, in the real products, but in our fragrance oil it smells really strong. Really strong, really sweet, really nice strawberry smell um, with a creamy vanilla uh, as your base notes. So just uh, the, the final point to think about um, when choosing fragrance oils, not all fragrance oils are the same. If you get if different, in, different suppliers supply different quality fragrance oils. I'm just trying to remember if I've covered all, all the points I wanted to talk about, but that's probably enough for this video anyway. So it's just a, a very short video, not going into heavy detail. I will do a, a video about how to get a better scent throw when making the product. This video was just a general gist of um, the fragrance source from Russet Barn Candles being premium quality. That's what you really need. Um, a lot of companies use it for marketing, rusted barn candles. Now, I, I, all my fragrance oils are made for me. Like I said at the start, I'm a candle maker at heart. That's my main business where I make my main income from. Fragrance oils is just something, an add-on product I thought I'd sell or I've been uh, recommended to me to sell. I wasn't gonna do it because there was no need to, but I thought I'd give it a go and it's done really well. It's really taken off, as well as the dye chips and um, a lot of the other products I have made specifically for me. I have a wax made specifically for me that I use in my candles now, or have done for a couple of years. But um, I don't stock that as a product to sell. It mainly comes down to space issue. I was trying to move house, still I'm trying, but that's falling through now, so it's a disaster. Because that was almost a year and a half trying to move house, and now it's falling through. So, it's, you know, planning to do things, sell other products like the wax I use in my candles. Um, but now I can't do that because I haven't got the space to stock it in the quantity to sell to you guys. Um, I sell the, the, the dyes I use to you guys because that takes up a smaller space, but fragrance oils takes up a lot of space, but I can just about manage that now where I am. But other products is on hold at the minute, sadly. But with your fragrance oils, if you haven't tried the fragrance oils on Rusted Barn Candles, you will not be disappointed and it will help you grow your business by getting repeat orders. Okay guys, I will catch you in the next one. Hope you like this video and see you soon. Bye bye.